Lance B. here. Welcome back to an in-depth look at destinations for your Raven Scanner or Raven Scanner Pro. When we did the overview a few weeks ago, we just looked at the entirety of the scanner, but today we're gonna to do a deep dive into destinations. When you first got your Raven Scanner and powered it up, you needed to go to raven.com to set up your account. Now your account, you used your email address, created your own password, and from there, Raven gave you a unique user ID, which, along with an email address of import.raven.com, you can send scans or other documents to your Raven Cloud account from outside of your Raven scanner. It's a really useful feature. So let's take a look at destinations available for sending scans from your Raven scanner. If we touch on destination, on here you will see destinations that I have already set up. Cloud accounts like Raven Cloud, Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, Box, Microsoft OneDrive, and SharePoint all work in a similar manner. You will click on the gear and it will show you the destination folder to which Raven will send your scans. Now, if you touch on the inbox folder, in this case, it will show you that I don't have any other folders other than folders, but there really aren't any additional folder structure to my Raven Cloud account, which it says right here, there aren't any other there. So, back out. So any scans I send to Raven Cloud would go directly to my inbox folder. Now I have set up Dropbox, Evernote, and Google Drive in a similar fashion where I'm sending it to an inbox. From there I can drag and drop it to other folders. But if you know you're going to be sending a number of scans to a particular folder, to get to that folder, Raven talks to Dropbox and all I have to do is touch inbox and it will bring up my folder structure. So I can go into, for instance, trading using the button on the right. And these are subfolders underneath that trading. So if I was gonna send something to my Connors folder, you'll see I don't have any subfolders beneath that. So I back out one and I'll select sending it to Connors. So now any scans that I send, should I choose Dropbox as a destination will go to that folder. Evernote, which is, if I select it, it's going to an online folders order. So it would send it to Dropbox, to the Connors folder, and it would send it to this online orders. Well, I don't want it to go to online orders. Say I just want it to go to my inbox. So I'd select that, save it, and now it will send it to these two locations. I can add Raven Cloud, and so now I'll send it to three locations. The cloud storage destinations all work in a similar manner with a file structure. And as I said, I use an inbox typically, send it to the inbox and then drag and drop it to where I want it to go after that. The email destination works a little bit differently. There is an area within Raven where you can set up a contacts list, which I'll show you in a minute, or if you're on your raven.com account, you can set up contacts the same way. But here, if I touch email to select it as a destination, I can enter an email address using the keyboard function here, or I can back out of that and I can use this drop down arrow to select email addresses that I have shared as, as contacts. So if I can pop that in, then I can add another email address to it if I want, which would be, say, there. When I'm satisfied with that, it's ready. I go to save. Destination is saved, and so now it's showing me that it's going to email. So any scans I make would go to those email destinations. Also here is where I can add additional contacts using the onboard keyboard. Now, similar to the email addresses, if I choose destinations, 
uncheck that and I want to send it to a fax, in my contacts, I can add fax numbers and using the drop down arrow, I can choose that fax number and then save it and it will send it to a fax. So I don't need a separate fax machine. This will do the same job. So when you first got your Raven scanner, you will have gone to raven.com to set up your free Raven account. So at this point, to add destinations, log into your account. It will bring to you to your Raven Cloud inbox, as well as you can look at your folders, archive, history, which the documents, unless they're stored in Raven Cloud, are not stored. And you can also send documents to trash. But what we want to look at is over in the drop down box by your name, shows your account ID. Click on My Account. Go to Connections, and from here, this is where you will set up your Box, Dropbox, any one of these accounts. You can also disconnect them. Say you're selling it to someone or someone else in the company or your family is using it. They can set it up to go to their Dropbox or Evernote account. And this is where you would click on Setup to set up a new account. And you can see it took me to Box, which if I had a box account, I'd enter my email address and password and authorize, and then Raven can talk to box, send documents to it, look at the box folder structure, and do all of that. You can also set up your contacts list here, make additions, deletions, edit from this same screen. So what I wanted to show you as well, if we go to inbox, you can search for terms either in the file name or within the document and you can see all of my file names are default file names which gives you the year, the month, the day and then the time of day and so I will search for a term that I know is in one of the documents and this is it so if I click on it it will give me a description in here I can change the file name this is for Ravenscan change the file name enter a description or look at the document here on the right hand side Clicking on this will bring it down. I can look at page two. Um, but it's nice that Ravenscan and Raven Cloud that you can search within documents for terms. So that was our deep dive into the destinations for use with your Raven Scanner, Raven Scanner, Raven Scanner Pro. If you have any other questions, be sure to put them down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a like and subscribe. And let me know what else you would like to see covered in this. If you're trying to make a decision on the Raven scanner, I've been using it now for nearly six months and have found it to be very useful. I'd love to share my knowledge with you to save you some time. A question I received was about automatic page orientation and whether this unit will do that. So I have a, a test page here. This is in portrait mode. And then on the back side is in landscape mode. So if I put the document into the scanner and then go ahead and hit scan, I want you to see what happens after it's scanned. And I did have a set as separated. So this would send two separate files. You can see file one and file two, but you can also see that it automatically oriented the pages correctly. So when they show up in your inbox or in Dropbox, Evernote, when you open those files, they will be oriented correctly. Now I can change this back out for this screen and make a combined file. So now you'll see it says page one, page two. So it's gonna go as a single, single document to the two destinations we had set, which I can still click the gear and go back and change my destinations if I need to. But those two are fine. So we will save those two. Go ahead, hit send. Off it will go. Thanks, guys.